Praise the Lord everyone. Today we will be starting with the beautiful quote of God that God never said that the journey would be easy but he did say that the arrival would be worthwhile. Amen. So today we'll, we will be starting with Leviticus 15. Bodily discharges. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, give the following instructions to the people of Israel. Any man who has a bodily discharge is ceremonially unclean. This defilement is caused by his discharge whether the discharge continues or stops. In either case, the man is unclean. Any bed on which the man with the discharge lies and anything on which he sits will be ceremonially unclean. So, if you touch the man's bed, you must wash your clothes and bath yourself in water. And you will be remain unclean until evening. If you sit where the man with the discharge has said, you must wash your clothes and bathe yourself in water. And you will be remain unclean until evening. If you touch the man with the discharge, you must wash your clothes and bathe yourself in water. And you will remain unclean until evening. If the man spits on you, you must wash your clothes and bathe yourself in water. And you will be remain unclean until evening. Any saddle blanket on which the man rides will be ceremony unclean. If you touch anything that was under the man, you will be unclean until evening. You must wash your clothes and bathe yourself in water, and you will be remain unclean until evening. If the man touches you without first rinsing his hands, you must wash your clothes and bathe yourself in water, and you will be remain unclean until evening. And clay the pot man touches must be broken, and any wooden utensil he touches must be ri uh, risen with water. When the man with the discharge is healed, he must count off seven days for the period of purification. Then he must wash his clothes and bathe himself in the fresh water, and he will be ceremonially clean. When the eighth day, he must get two turtle, turtle doves or two young pigeons and come before the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle. And gave his offering to the priest. The priest will offer one bird for a sin offering and the other for a burnt offering. Through this process, the priest will purify the man before the Lord for his discharge. Whenever a man has an emission of salmon, he must bathe his entire body with water. And he will be remain ceremonially unclean until the next evening. Any clothing or leather with salmon on it must be washed in water. And it will be remain unclean until evening. After a man and a woman have sexual intercourse, they must each bathe in water. And they will be remain unclean until the next evening. Whenever a woman has her menstruational period, he, she will be ceremony unclean for seven days. Anyone who touches her during this time will be unclean until evening. Anything which is woman lies or sits during the time of a period will be unclean if any of you touch her bed you must wash your clothes and bath yourself in water and you will be remain unclean until evening if you touch any object she has sat on you must wash your clothes and bath yourself in water and you will be remain unclean until evening this includes her bed or any other object she has sat on you will be unclean until evening if you touch it The Day of Atonement The Lord spoke to Moses after the death of Aaron, two sons, who died after they entered the Lord's presence and burned the wrong kind of fire before him. The Lord said to Moses, Warn your brother Aaron not to enter the most holy place behind the inner curtain whenever he chooses. If he does, he will die, for the ark's cover, the place of atonement is there, and I myself present in the cloud above the atonement cover. When Aaron enters the sanctuary area, he must follow these instructions fully. He must bring a young bull for a sin offering and a ram for a burnt offering. He must put on his linen tunic and the linen undergarments worn next to his body.
He must tie the linen sash around his waist and put the linen turban on his head. Through this process, he will be purified the most holy place, and he will be do the same for the entire tabernacle. Amen.